Ah, Wivypool, one of the finest and most historic carp venues in the land. So many great anglers have fished this lake over the years and of course a mega historic carp here. There's even a rig named after the place. And now they've only going to let me have a go. We're here to test out some of our new hooks and bloodliners, a part of our terminal tackle range from One More Cast. We had a successful first night with close friend Gabby and myself landing a couple of the newest stocky commons. First ever with your pool carp. Our ambitions and dreams were high. We really wanted at least one of the history fish from Wivy. Not long after dark, I was away again. Oh, Nikos, we got a bite. Oh, that is this hairy fishing tight to snags at long range. We're literally fishing oh, the far. Oh, there you Ooh. go. I wonder if that's an old Wibby gnarly one. Oh, yeah, it's a better fish. This is actually on our bloodliner half curve, which is modelled on the early Wibby pool rig, but it's not. It's, it's smaller because I was never actually a massive fan of the full Wivy. And there we go. That's a dollop. That is well carpy. <laughs> <laughs> a banana with fins. <laughs> oh. We got a dirty winter 30. Yeah. 3111 from Wivy Pool. That was on the bucket list. We've knocked it off the bucket list. We're gunning for something bigger now. Wait, that's the first carp I've ever caught on them kickers. I knew they were gonna work. Well, this is what we came here for. And it fell foul to that lovely curved bloodliner kicker and our cone V hooks. A lovely combination. And uh, yeah, this is what we dreamt of catching coming here. Just a proper, proper wily character crinkled tail crinkled body weathered fins absolutely a proper english character into the next day with just a few hours to go before we left i decided to freshen up the rods rather than leave them out three fresh rigs and a light scattering of mixed bait including worms mainline cell isosweet boilies and maggots were dispatched in the rt4 bait boat to marginal spots on the far bank but this time i was only going to use a little sprinkle of bait just enough to get a bite was it worth the final throw of the dice or should i have left the rod settled we'd made the right decision well, we redid the rods because I thought, let's just have them fresh. We haven't had a bite in daylight yet. So this is the one just, and I went extra small patches in the uh, RT4 just to keep, just, just a little parcel, not just to localize them. But this fish is still right over them snags. It's kiting left. And I've just got to look this, this walking procedure, walk back, don't pump. I mean, I haven't got a great amount of room to walk back, but it's just steady pressure. Don't lower the rod. Walk this procedure when you're snag fishing. And we're trying to just pull this fish back into the deep water. I mean, we are fishing for proper history fish here, and you do not want to lose them. The test for some hooks, I tell you. Oh, this is hairy. It's literally hugged that margin the whole way. Oh no. Oh, this is the start. We're in a snag, I think. We need the boat. Gab, you got a life jacket? It's right in the middle. There. We've got a chance. I've had him swim out before. If I put the rod on the rest, there's a chance to fish because it's gone that way on the side. Luckily, we've got we've got tapered line on which has got a big leader that's already built in so for abrasion resistance we're better off than just having straight say 15 pound main line straight to the straight to the rig don't 
don't go fully slack just go half mast and there's a chance that fish will come out it's, it's 20 20 80 in favor of the fish one some i've lost many <laughs> in this situation if you look at that snag line it's the whole way down and really that fish knew exactly what it was doing oh, that's why i know it's one of, it's got to be one of the older stock one of the real clever ones that knows this lake inside out right so we're going to wind out Even though I felt my chances of landing it were low, I couldn't believe my luck when I was finally back in contact. I could see it was something special. You probably can't hear me saying it's an old one, it's a belter. Yeah, we can hear ya. OMC hooks, baby. Even when they get stuck in snags, they're still on. I love you. <laughs> well done, Al. Well done, everyone. That is a good team innings, wasn't it, hey? Absolutely super. Absolutely super. We got a dance from Raymundo. Did you get the dance? I think we might have got it, if I didn't. The Muddy Margin. The eat, wait, I told you he's a good omen. Every time he visits on a proper carp lake, we catch something special. A fish called Bricky, a very famous old character. That's that a good stonker. That is. On the what? On the there, I've said this got to be one of the old characters, knows its way around the lake too well. It tried to do me in every snag possible. That is outrageous. That's a 40 year old cop. Honestly, I think, like, my mate Brett passed away a few, like, a few weeks ago. It's his funeral tomorrow. And honestly, since his passing, We've had some proper bit of luck when we've gone fishing. Like, unbelievable. Someone's looking down on us. You will never understand, like, starting this brand, developing tackle, just how special this is. This fish is 40 years old. It's a proper wily character. It's seen everything in its time. And to come here, I mean, it, it, it's never even entered my head that we could ever have a chance of catching it. Um, but what have we rolled in? I went for the classic D-Rig that I use with our fluorocarbon, it's the soft version and um, I used one of our Bloodliner aligners. I changed it because look, you can see the baits floating, these are the mainline quads that have been soaked in uh, a variety of fruity goos and I had a cell bottom bait one so it was just a little wafter and we put so little bait this time in the hopper just to have a little trap for the day. Look at that, you can just see the bloodliner, a liner on the, uh, and I'm gonna just pop the hook out. It's absolutely nailed on the Colne Valley. This is a size four. Just got it out before he got angry. That D-Rig has caught me some of the best fish I've ever caught across the planet. It comes up trumps every time. Bloodliner, a liner, a 20 pound fluorocarbon in soft. It's called blend fluorocarbon. You've then got the tungsten 30 mil anti-tangle sleeve, the pin leg clip, and there it is, the tubing. It's done its job. The lead clip, the lead clip has dumped the lead in the most critical moments of a fight, which you really need it to. And wow, you caught probably one of the most historic carp in this lake, and it, it's an English carp fishing heritage. So to do that on our tackle, don't get any better than that. Unreal. Incoming, 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 beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Reversing up. Right. A warrior. A proper, proper warrior. Mike's seen a few carp in his time with his years of working at Semex. He knows when we've caught something very special. Look, it's all leech, it's been leached up. The dogs are excited. The vans are excited. Literally, all of the OMC staff are all here. Like the whole team, 
bar dawn. Everyone's here. Let's have a look then. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. A winter shaking. Let's call it, it's hovering about a bit. 41.9, 41.10, it doesn't matter. Let's have a look at her. Unbelievable fish. Look at that. 41 pounds, 10 ounces of historic carp. That is legendary. That's as good as carp fishing can get. An old wily dog on OMC tackle tested to the maximum snagged up in a boat and it was still nailed nothing had given way i can promise you use our tackle and you are going to enjoy many many successes on the bank that's good wasn't it Hey, have a bit of water. <laughs> <laughs>